it helps if I'm unmute in OBS as well. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to the stream for tonight. Um, I think our music may be a little bit, a little bit too low. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. But hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's stream. So uh, I did manage, I did actually manage to get um, at least one of these new batteries. So that's something. Uh, I may be, I may be slightly, slightly lagging. Is that a thing? That's happening? Because that needs to not happen. Alright, I look fine. Alright, so, but welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, I hope everybody's... Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I hope everybody's have been having a good weekend and everything. Um, it's our usual uh, Sunday chill stream, so that's, that's kind of a thing. And um, we're going to be doing, of course, some Space Engineers as the huge, as the huge on Sunday. And of course, as the huge, I need to go make a, I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to make an emote in between this stream and next stream. Like when do I, I'm going to make an emote first thing tomorrow morning, clean glasses, because I, I never remember to do it until the bright lights in my face. The reason why is that my room is very dark. And the minute that like I'm having to look through to a light, I realize, wow, my glasses are not clean. So if I'm driving or if I'm uh, streaming with the, the, the light on me, the key light and everything, then uh, I notice it and I'm like, I'm having to look through haze in order to actually, in order to actually see. It's not great. Um, but anyway, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, so before we get started, I'd like to remind everybody watching on YouTube to be sure to like and subscribe and all that great stuff. Uh, and, uh, be sure to come check us out live, twitch.tv slash rogueleadergaming. We do Space Engineers every Sunday, 7 o'clock, Houston time, uh, as well as Subnautica on Tuesdays and, um, Undertale on Fridays, same time, about 7 o'clock, unless, um, unless something else is going on, and sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's a little bit later, or, or, or earlier, um, but be sure to come check it out. I also do a series, um, two Minecraft series, uh, a modded and a vanilla, uh, and a Valheim series with my friend Hunter, and a little bit of Call of Duty Warzone, whenever we feel like it. But yeah, be sure to come check it out. Uh, let's go ahead, though, and hop on into the game. Where? Here we are. And I've done a couple of things to the base in between episodes. Actually, quite a bit has been done. So first off, as you guys cannot see because my giant face is in the way. There we go. Let's center that a little bit more. There we go. Uh, so as you guys can see, I've added quite a few more windmills to the top of this thing because we just weren't producing enough power. We're still not, and I want to start getting hydrogen uh, production online, but I, I don't want to waste a bunch of hydrogen making power for the base. I want to make hydrogen power for the ship, which we're going to go try and... Um, we're going to try and retrofit some thrusters on, atmospheric thrusters on, to try and get it back over here, but we may not be able to do the actual move today. We'll see. We'll see how much we get done. Uh, but I've done a couple of other things, actually. Um while while we're on that subject so there oh my gosh there there are so many fucking signals there are so many signals it is absolutely ridiculous how many signals there are uh let's see but we've got this room here and you'll notice everything is dark i've had to turn all the lights off in order to get the batteries to charge but it does look like they are finally finally doing that. So let's go take a look at the power situation first. Um, still got the solar panels on top of the roof. That hasn't really changed. Um, but over here, we've got a couple of batteries. I've got these on discharge right now, but everything else on recharge just so that they are just not using any power. But in theory, they shouldn't be sucking any up either, I guess. I don't know. Um, 
just so we have spares. But I've added another row here and then another column here. So I've added, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. I had, I've added like six more. So we now have considerably more of these, which is really great. Um, I've only got one assembler and one refinery working right now. Um, but I do have it on, and it's chewing through a remarkable amount of stone, which... I guess I should go ahead and show you guys that next. Um, I can't remember if anything else was done off camera. It's been a minute. Because I think last week we didn't get to stream. I think I was streaming something with Hunter. I'm experiencing some lag. It's not super great. Oh, the world was saved. That's probably why. Okay, so first of all, um... Ow. We do have doors here now, which is... We got the doors back, so that's pretty great. We got the helicopter is still alive. The, the jet is still alive. Um, helicopters come in extremely handy. And uh, I've dug this out a little bit more. Um, I don't remember where it was at last episode, but I've dug it out quite a bit more. Uh, so we have a, a shitload of stone. Because I've... I, Instead of hand drilling it, what I did was I just built drills, large grid drills, and just into the into the stone. Um, and it made a pretty uniform looking uh, looking deal here. Uh, but this is going to be one of the hangar bays. I just haven't put a floor down yet. It's probably going to be where the jet lives. And we'll spend most of its time. But the other thing that I've done is actually really cool. I thought... I've, Looking back on it, I probably should have done it here at the beginning of the episode, but I had to set it up, and I had to make sure that it was actually going to work. And do some testing, and I did some testing, and what I have determined... ...is that it works. So we have... ...in here... What, what are these called again? It's a maglev piston. Yeah, it's a maglev piston. I think it's a... I don't remember where the mod comes from, but it is a maglev piston and it does cool things. Is it, is it coming down? Okay, it's coming down now. But yeah, I, I did actually finally install the elevator back here. Oh, and I may need to make an adjustment to it now that I'm actually looking at this. Uh, but these maglev pistons go up super duper duper high. So what I've done is, uh, like, they extend really, really far. So I've used them as a, as a bit of an elevator uh, system, as you guys can see. Which is making all kinds of horrible sounds. Absolutely hor- oh shit. Absolutely horrifying sounds. Okay, there- there it is. Here comes the platform. Oh shit, I may need to make some adjustments to it, actually. But here- here it comes. It's a little bit slow. Because I gotta make sure that it works. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Clang. It's clanging. It's clanging so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make a little minor adjustment here. Which one of these is which? Okay, so yeah, there we go. Okay, just wanted to make sure that no damage just happened. Okay, so, but yeah, we've got ourselves an elevator. Which, which works. Up we go. So instead of having to walk up those ridiculous amount of ladder, 
Uh, we now have a bunch of elevator to go up. We really need some elevator music, something. I don't know. I'm not I'm not great at elevator music, to be honest. I wish more places had elevator music than I would be. Because I would have paid more attention. This is not super duper fast, but Oh jeez. I could up the speed, but the amount that it's clanging around, that may be a bad idea. I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know about that. Um, that may be, like, the last thing I ever do. Maybe not the greatest of, of choices. Okay. All right, and here we are in the elevator room, which I basically just dug a hole and they and built an elevator. That's the only thing different in this room. But yeah, it's just it's just this room in the hallway. So there it is. All right, so now that I've shown off our elevator, let me regen some of the health that I that I lost due to stupid reasons. Let me check something really quick. Okay, that, that should that should be a little better. That's a lot better. Okay, so in today's episode, uh, we're going again to go over to the big ship, I guess, that we found with a bunch of components to make thrusters and try and get that thing home. And I highly doubt we're actually going to be able to do it because I, I just cannot see I just cannot see it happening, so all in one day. So we're gonna at least attempt it. I don't actually know what's gonna be necessary to get it online. I do know that it has no atmospheric thrusters, so we're going to need to just retrofit some of those, slap them onto the side. Also, my chair is falling apart. Um, any, uh, any chair companies wanna send me a chair, hit me up. But uh, I kind of doubt that's going to be a thing, so... At least so far, not quite there yet. Uh, so, I guess let's go ahead... And... We're going to take the elevator ride again, because it's fun. And down we go. I'm gonna eat a mounds while that's happening. Just because I have I happen to have some. Let's decorate this shaft more. I'm worried about what might happen if I do, though. So I'm not sure. Oh shit, that would not be good. Please do not fall down there. Nope. It's hitting on something and I can't actually figure out what.
All right. With a couple of shutters and a couple of bangs, we've made it down here. It's pretty great. Is it me or am I walking in slow motion? Guess let's turn the hangar lights back on. All right, so we need all the stuff to make a lot. And I mean quite a lot of, where are they? They're not on here. Um, doesn't seem to be any difference, but these are probably going to be temporary, so we'll just do regular ones. Just slap them together. Let's see if we can load up as much to make as many of these as we can. Although I'm kind of doubting that we're actually going to be able to do it. We'll see. No. Come on. Here, let's 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 go back to this color palette though. That way we don't repaint anything on accident. Jeez, so many, so many tubes and plates and motors. We literally just need as much as we can possibly get our hands on here. Oh boy, because this is going to be... This is going to be a lot. All right, let's just keep doing this a little bit more and then I'm going to load up the like rest of the cargo space with um, steel plates because we're going to need those to put stuff down. All right, maybe uh, two more loads, and then I'll just grab some steel plates. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'll just grab some steel plates. I'll just grab an inventory's worth of steel plates from this point. We'll kind of work with what we've got. I know we have steel plates. So many steel plates. Stop lying to me. There we go. All right, load up and heading out. Guess I need to turn the signals back on. I 
All right, let's uh, go ahead and head there. All right, uh, we have a missile post. We have the Reliant there. We need to gain more altitude if we can. This is, uh, interesting. There's so many signals. I may need to go delete some stuff. Oh, you know what we need to do is we need to, um, I don't like how close I'm getting to that thing. Let's get a little higher. Um, what we need to do though, is we, we do need to, um, put some kind of respawn of some kind on here. That's definitely something that's going to need to happen. It should be high enough up to be out of range. Actually, I'm gonna get a little higher. It's just making me a little bit nervous. Oh, I think we're lagging. If we take a shot, we are fucked. Just want to remind everybody of that fact. So maybe we ought to steer away from this missile post. Think we'll be okay. It just makes me very nervous. Where's my GPS marker? Here we go. All right, we are quite high up, so that's kind of a thing. Which means we're going to have to go down. Which I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not I'm not really all that excited about I don't like going down Going down is very dangerous <laughs> See look at that now we're going faster than we have the entire time that we've been doing this Because we're we've now got gravity assisting us We should be fine out of range of that, out of range of that, out of range of that. I haven't seen this view all that much. It's dark in here. It's really dark in here.
You can see I can see what's going on just a little bit better from out here. So this is why I put air brakes on this thing. Bit of a freeze up. Hopefully we're doing okay. The stream is not completely destroyed, so that's that's a good sign. Coming in. Let's get a bit lower. Okay, and this is going to be interesting. Let's get close enough. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, and off. We made it, guys! I'm actually pretty damn excited about that. I, I'm actually, uh, I really am rather impressed with myself there. Okay, so this is, for those of you who are not aware, the ship, I guess it's what? The, um... The Pilgrim's Curiosity, which I, I think we need a new name for this thing. But but I, I really do quite like it. Um... It, uh... It may need a little bit of work, though. What we need to do is we need to get it operational. It's missing two nacelles, uh, which are over there, which we can, we can totally, um, the easiest thing to do is going to be to just scrap them. Maybe blueprint them, but scrap them and actually, yeah, let's, let's go blueprint these and then we'll scrap them, um, at some point before the move, probably using, we'll probably have to build a bob on the, um, on this thing. All right, so that's one. Go get the other one. But yeah, this thing has definitely seen better days. This has definitely seen better days. Uh, it's all ion thrusters, so we're going to have to put some... Um, we're gonna have to put some stuff on here. So these engine pods also should be mirrored, and that's why I need a copy of both. I could probably just build them, but I think it'd be easier to just weld them on and then fix them up. There we go. 
But uh, I think this is actually gonna look really cool when it's when it's done. I actually really like this design, and of course we'll probably add a bunch of stuff onto it as we go, and that's what I'm also liking. Okay, but where can we put thrusters? That's the real question. We need atmospheric thrust. And the current school of thought is just spam thrusters all over this thing. And don't, don't be fancy about it. Because I'll probably remove them and replace them back at the base. But I want to get this thing to the base so that it's nice and close and easy to work on. That's actually going to be really helpful if we could get this thing back to the base and easy to work on. So it's it's missing one of its ions right there, but I don't know that there's enough space to put down a new um, atmospheric in the engine nacelle. So I think I think realistically the right answer here is going to be slap stuff to the side of this thing, which it looks like that's going to be a little more difficult than it looks. And I do like the camo and the mossy texture of it going on right now, but I, I do want to repaint it after I've finished building it. But for now, I think let's actually, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, what if we did this? And let's go with battered armor. And th this is going to be... Hold on, let's see what this looks like. It's a little too red. I don't hate that. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be the color of the patches for now. I like that, kind of a rusty brown. Um, all right, so we need to th slap some thrusters onto here. And honestly, I kind of would like to get it no longer stuck into the ground, maybe? That, I don't know if that would necessarily be, oh. No, I think it'd be easier to go ahead and let's do the thrusters first while it's immobile. All right. Um, we're going to need a lot of thrusters as well. All right, let's go get let's go get some let's go get some stuff. I don't even know how many thrusters we're actually going to need. We're going to need to test this as well. Grab me most of those. I don't want all of them in case I need to grind something. Um. Well, I think as a start, we can slap one there for a stopping thruster. Because we got to keep in mind, we also need to be able to move it. It needs to be able to hold itself up, but we also need to be able to move it around and everything, so we're gonna need thrust in all directions. So we're gonna need some stopping thrust. We're gonna need some stuff like that. I also don't want to repair this up yet. Uh, I want to kind of do um, a bit more of a job and go through and find some of the bits like like that bit. That's a detail bit. That's That's not built completely because those are windows. And it looks better like this, with the girder structure or whatever. And I want to keep that, 
I kind of like that. At least for now. Same with those bits. So what I want to do is I want to come back in. And I need to paint them the ignore color. Um, but I have to go around the entire ship to do that. So we're going to have Bob. We're not going to be using Bob for this mission. Okay, so that's one. We are getting rid of the solar panels on the front. What on earth is this block? Passages, okay. Interesting. But the thing is, is that that's gonna clip into the ground if we go ahead and put that thruster. So we're gonna have to put that thruster after we uh, move this. Uh, could we slap two, maybe? Could we, I don't even know that we could do one. What the shit, where's, where's the problem at? getting somewhere. Maybe it's intercepting with the ground or something. I also got to keep in mind that I have a limited amount of hydrogen. Okay, so that's two. We're going to want at least a few. Uh, welcome to the streams now. We are uh, putting thrusters on this hunk of junk. in the hopes of uh, returning it back to the base. Uh, I don't think we're going to manage to get that far today, but we're at least going to get started on it. Um, is there a spot up here, maybe, that we could attach? We need a mount point. A solid mount point. Oh, jeez. Okay, what about that? Is that a good mount point for some forward-facing thrusters? I think I'm still in the way, okay. Okay, that's some done. I think we'll go with smaller ones for the side to side. All right, but that's some. This is gonna be janky as all fuck. <laughs> This is going to be just maximum jank. Uh, is there any way that I could put this on somewhere in between you guys? Yes, there kind of is. Uh, hey, if it works, it works. That's all that matters. That is exactly what we're going for with, uh, with this project is if it works, it works. Where the fuck did I put those? Okay, in between. Okay, on the center one. Okay, so that's what? How many downward thrusters is that gonna be? That's gonna be six down, six large downward thrusters. That's going to end up being two forward, two back. We're going to need side to side. Uh, side to side isn't as important as front and back, and we're going to do this very slowly. 
Um, very slowly. Um. So yeah, we are gonna need side to side though. Hmm. It's a lot of plate there. I'm just trying to get this planned out more than anything else. Okay, this could, this could work. This could work. Maybe let's do four. I really don't know. Oh, come on, really? There's some dumb ramps here. That's not ideal. Ah, my nose itches really badly. Ah. Ow. Oh. You ever get those nose itches that are just like, holy cow! It itches, and it's like, sweet babies it itches. Well, that's what I was gonna do. I was actually gonna add the Aw Scrap mod. But I never got around to it. Okay, I think... I think that'll do it. It's a matter now of figuring out... Ow. Uh, how many large thrusters is going to take to lift this thing and have it hover? Ow. That hurt. Ow. Ow. I just got myself with my nail. Ow. Uh, I've gotten itches that itch. <laughs> yes. All right, so we still have like two, no, one thruster to place down in the front. Um, but I want to go ahead and get some of these built. All right, let's go ahead and throw all the steel plates we have into specifically the uh, our up thrust. So I don't know how far we're going to get in this. It's going to be interesting for sure. Would you go somewhere, cheese? There we go. Get as many steel plates stuffed into this thing as possible. Breaking thrust is extremely important. Out of steel plate. All right, let's go see if we can grab all the construction components and fit as many construction components on at least the main thrusters as we can, because I don't think we're going to be able to get to the smaller thrusters. I don't think I know we don't have enough stuff for the smaller thrusters. Looking at this, nope.
We'll throw what we can into these. The whole idea here was to just at least start out by coming out here and starting this project. I honestly don't expect to be able to fly at home today. I'd be quite surprised if we get to do that. Come out of construction components as well. We're gonna at least need another trip back to the base, that's for certain. What do we need next? Large steel tubes or something? We only have... Holy shit. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more... Pretty much everything. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's pretty great. Oh, and each one of these takes a thousand motors. Holy cow. That is uh, gonna be pretty ridiculous. Let's see how many motors we can actually throw into these. I might be lucky to build one thruster. No, it looks like I might be able to build two. Maybe two. Maybe not. Maybe. It's close. It's gonna be close. Holy cow, we've got a functional thruster. Ow. Um, yeah, we should have enough for two thrusters, it looks like. Oh, and shit, we are going to need... We're going to need more uh, hydrogen bottles. So we straight up can't do anything at this point until we get more hydrogen. Uh, which is not super duper great considering that I need to access this thing. That's, uh, that's not super great. All right, um, we can't actually do anything without more hydrogen. It is hard to get up there. So I guess we gotta go back to base now? Huh.
six thrusters will hold it up. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. And off we go. Yeah, this, um, this could be interesting. Well, I guess uh, we'll head home, re, um, restock, and head back out. Uh, it seems as if I go high enough, these things won't shoot at me. So I just have to stay like a kilometer away, at least. And then we seem to be out of range. So if I just fly a kilometer up into the air, then then it's not that big of a deal. Even if I pass right over them. There's an unknown signal. I wonder if we can see it. Not really. Oxygen is now low way up here, so let's let's go ahead and level out. Uh, we're we're pretty high. There's so many red signals. It's really kind of annoying. Uh, glad you're not getting shot at, I guess. Yeah. There's that, at least. At least I'm not getting shot at. Can stop going up now. Holy sweet babies, we're high up. We are really high up. Well, all right then. I can actually see my base from here. <laughs> we're so high up, I can see my house from here. I actually can, just in the distance. It may be hard to tell on stream, but it's just over the top uh, rotor. It's actually pretty cool. Hmm. 
Oh, we're getting close to that missile post. I kind of don't like that. Missiles, Pog Champ. No, 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 no. I greatly disagree with this. Missiles, missiles are not Pog. But missiles, no, missiles are not Pog. Missiles are Pog as long as you're the one that is shooting them. But if they're shooting at you, then they're not Pog. But combat. Have you seen my combat skills, no? I don't know why I put so many combat-capable uh, mods in here, because I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yes, and it's funny. Well... This is true, but it also gets all of my stuff get gone. And and we don't want my stuff to be all be gone, because then what am I gonna... What am I gonna do if everything is gone? Okay, that's less funny. Yeah, see? I don't know I don't know what we would do if, if all my stuff is gone. That's on the ground. It's not super duper. There's the base down there. And now we dive. We are hard burning back to the base. Despite going at 77 meters per second, this feels rather slow. And my phone was buzzing for no apparent reason. We're gonna do a bit of a, an, you tell your phone to stop it because you're streaming. Well, I, at least it was on vibrate. So there's that at least. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a handbrake turn here. To help slow down a bit.
And now we're headed back in towards the base at a much more reasonable speed. Uh, what did my phone say while I approached the base? Oh! Okay, it was just iFunny. Uh, we appear to have frozen. Do not do that, please. There we go. somewhere here and that somewhere is home Yep, jetpack fuel is critical, which is not super duper ideal. Well, let's, um, while we're here. more motors whatever all right we need all right we need those motors back we need large steel tubes Construction components up the butthole. And if we have a motor, we need to take it with us. No motor left behind. Because that's just the kind of situation we're in right now. We're not seeing any motors. That may be part of the problem. I shouldn't need more than 10k. That should be plenty. I don't need that many. Actually, I don't even need that many. Grab some computers. I don't think we needed them.
Let's go ahead and get a um, another pair of oxygen bottles. Or not oxygen, hydrogen bottles. All right, let's head back. Um, Snow, I don't think you've seen the elevator. I think, um, I think you were just a little bit late uh, to see the elevator, so let's go ahead and I'll show you the elevator. It's pretty great. I built an elevator. Uh, um, I'm out of water. That's sad. Sad times. It's a very dark elevator, but this is... Um, this is the elevator as it stands. Does it come with elevator music? It sadly does not. It comes with banging noises. That's what it comes with. Lots and lots of banging noises. And as soon as I say that, it stops making all the banging noises. Sad times. It, it, it usually does make a whole lot more banging noises than it's currently making. I remember back in the day, this would not be possible. Because back in the day, this would just explode. That was before a lot of updates happened. It was very cool, indeed. Needs music, though. Well, there's already the stream music. I agree, it does need elevator music. I just don't think I have any. gotten a lot of work done though indeed I have but yeah um, you may also notice that all the lights are off except in like a couple of places it's because we've been having power problems I've, I've more or less solved them. I'm just trying to get the batteries to finish charging up. Darkness, uh, the darkness adds atmosphere. Well, it's not supposed to be dark, though. And we'll take the elevator back down as well. Because, you know, why not? Actually, the main reason why I want to take the elevator back down is because it will uh, allow us to save on hydrogen. And we can use that while we're building the, uh, the ship. It is exactly this reason why I want to hurry the crap up and bring the ship back to base. I don't think we're going to actually be able to move it today, though. I think we're going to run out of parts before we do. And I could make some things, but I don't think that I'm actually... I don't think I've got enough stuff to make everything. Everything. 
And it's raining and thundering, and thunder generally means something broke. So that's super duper. That's really great. Uh, before the stream, me and Hunter were working on um, some off-cam work with the uh, Mine Colony stuff in our modded world. And holy cow, let me tell you, it is annoying. Oh, there's a little glimpse at the mechanism down below there. But man, those, those friggin... Oh, Mine Colony sucks, dude. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great concept. It is a great concept, but oh my gosh, it is so grindy. So we've been just grinding it out off camera, all the... Getting all the stuff done. It's been pretty great. Alright, what all do we need to build thrusters? A lot of everything that we have. Uh, this is problem. Uh, can't wait to see how much changed a lot has changed. It's, it's actually going to be uh, pretty exciting whenever we finally do get around to uh, streaming that next. Holy cow, we have to make so many freaking motors. Um... Let's come out here and see if anything noticeable has broken off. Now I still have to seem to have the same number of uh, wind turbines. So I guess not. No idea though. Okay, so I guess I guess we're. We're just gonna have to grind out a bunch of motors. Uh, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, get get both of the assemblers working on all these motors because we need that many. Oh, jeez. We need so many motors. We also got to figure out power for this ship. It's got some batteries. It might be enough to get us home, but with these big thrusters, it might not. Doesn't look like we have any uranium. I think there is a nuclear reactor with uranium on board that ship, though. So it may be possible to actually... It may be possible to get it. To get that online, to get it here, you know, long enough for it to get it here. And then from there, I don't know what we would do. We'd have to find uranium. So that could be interesting. Uh, let's see, how long have we been going for? Uh, an hour and 16? Uh, well now, while we wait for motors, is a good time to remind everybody watching on YouTube to be sure to like and subscribe and all that great stuff and come check us out live. Twitch.tv slash RogueLeaderGaming. Link should be in the description. Uh, we do Space Engineers um, Mondays. No, lies. All lies. Sundays. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Space Engineers live at 7 o'clock Houston time. Uh, and of course we also do, um, Subnautica on Tuesdays. I might drop that series though. Hunter's streaming a lot more, so we'll see what happens. And then, um, of course Undertale on Fridays. And I think that will probably be, uh, good. I can't believe you just lied like that. Yeah, I'm lying to you guys as well as myself, so... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty great. It 
each of each holy shit each fucking um So each thruster requires a thousand motors. We don't even have... We literally do not have the motors for a single thruster yet. Oh my gosh. And we have like... There's how many large thrusters? There's going to be... Ten. So that's a lot. Going to take a very long time. Yeah, there's almost no way that we're going to get done uh, with these thrusters today. I, I very much doubt it. We should have plenty of iron. It's my is our nickel that I'm worried about. Huh. If we can just get more motors, that'd be great. Um, hmm. is coming along ridiculously slowly. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to go grab some um, something for, uh, I guess you could call it dinner maybe, and I will be right back. And whenever we come back, we'll kind of take whatever th motors we have available.
And of course, we've only made 300 motors. That's that's so great. That's that's so great. You know, actually though, I forgot water, so I'll be right back again. Cuz I forgot about water. Okay, I'm back for real this time. Um, I completely forgot while I was down getting uh, Kalachis. I've completely forgotten to get water, so now I have some. Holy crap, we can make a thruster! Yay! <sighs> Actually, let's queue up another thousand. Uh, maybe two thousand. Because I put six and six, that should be... 12. That should do. Okay. Is anything broken? I can't really tell. Eh, that's fine. Alright, so I think at this point we have to just accept what we've been given. Why are we not moving? Oh. Oh, geez. Up. go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, is it me or are my thrusters literally doing nothing? Can we get some forward fucking momentum here? Use the fucking rotors. <clears throat> I don't have near as long power as I would like to have. Well, we may need, um, 
We may need to sit and charge a minute at some point. Does my doors being closed change anything? No? Okay, I didn't think so. My chair is definitely falling apart. It's not great. This is gonna be a very long grind. It's not gonna be that bad. It's just a matter of delivering components and waiting for stuff to build. Um, realistically, this is why I wanna move it to the base. So that, like, the, the thing that's gonna be a pain in the ass isn't so much, it's not so much um, the, um, it's not so much the building of components or anything like that. The big pain in the ass is going to be getting all the components to the work site and then getting the work site back to the base. Um, yeah, no, this is exactly why I desperately want to um, move this thing back home because there I can work on it easier. But, um, as they say, Rome was not built in a day. Hopefully it all works out. Indeed. Hopefully it does. I'm sure it will. We just have to get it back to the base. This is our ticket off this rock. As pleasant of a rock as it is, I, I must travel the stars. Where has my music gone? It has gone bye bye. There we go. And down we go. Hmm. Well. You know, thinking about it, I'm not sure we could even hold all of the motors that are needed. Motors are heavy. So I'm not even sure we could take all of the motors needed for this in one trip anyway. Please stop freezing. Thank you.
Well, that was rather perfect. Oh, does that mean we're not going to be able to actually get to... Okay, so we have to leave it on then. That's sad. Oh, all right. Motors. Hopefully we can get at least at least one more online. Does it still need more? Yeah. Sweet babies. Metal grid time. You get a metal grid. 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 Everybody gets metal grids. Even you, Snow. Everybody gets metal grids. I haven't worked at these at all yet. I think I brought way too many metal grids. Uh. Pogs for metal grids indeed, except for the fact that I definitely brought too many, way too many. It's actually all the metal grids I'm gonna need. Large steel tubes. Apparently that's all this one needed. So we've got another one online. Still tubs. Need more still tubs. Wonder if I have enough steel tubes to go around. I know I have enough metal grids. Not actually sure about steel tubes.
All right. You got large steel tubes, W. No. I'm out. done. Alright, looks like that's all the steel tubes we'll need. Now, of course, I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit because realistically, we do still have one that we haven't actually done yet. Um... You have everything? I think you're just missing the motors. Yeah, you're just missing the motors. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, we need the motors. Motors and steel plate. But we have the steel plate. It's the motors that we don't have. That's that's a that's that's not that's a gun. Oh, this needs one more grid. All right, so let's grab a metal grid. And then all of the, um... and then as many steel plates as we can fit on us. Who was it? You need a metal grid. There you go, now you've got one. Alright, it looks like we literally only need motors. Yep, I think that's where we're at now. We literally only need motors, and then this thing is flyable. Possibly. Here's a question I have. Do you have motors? No. 
Not really, no. Huh. I've been having trouble flying the helicopter and we're kind of low on power, so I'm gonna, um... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take it back as is. And then I think we're gonna go on a different mission. Cause those... Those dang, uh motors are taking forever to make. So then we're going to go on a different mission. First, we need to head back. Did we just pass a unknown signal? Like right in front of our face? No, I think that was above us. Or below. I don't think I'm near high enough yet. But yeah, let's head back to base, and then we're going to do a little bit more flying around. Here, I'll even put it under the thing. I'm not going to lie, um, this is going to be, um, this is going to take a minute. Again, it's this commute that I want to get rid of by just moving this project over to the base. getting there I mean all we have left to do is the motors like we can go with a full helicopter full of motors in the next um, on the next run I still don't think that's actually going to be enough but at least we know we only need the one component
What do you want, phone? Piss off. But you see that? 40, uh, 43 kilometers away. SPEX station. That's, I think, what we're going to go ahead and do now while we wait on these motors. Let's go back to base, drop off all of this kit, all the components and everything, and then we will um, head to that station. I think uh, I'll be interested to see if there's anything useful there. <sighs> Dude, this is such a long journey. lot closer to that missile post than I would like to be. I guess it's okay. Uh, missiles, Pog. I don't know about that, Chief. Hopeful that that thing doesn't shoot at us. It right, looks like we're okay. Whoo. Let's go ahead and come on down now. some of the mines down below and there's the base off in the distance I would appreciate it if you would cease your lag, sir. No more lag.
Oh shit, 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 that was a bad idea. Okay, it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. I'm moving very slowly for so some weird reason. Is it really fine? Yes. But I will say everything feels like it's moving very sluggishly for some reason. I can't quite pinpoint why. Come on, camera angle, stop being weird. All right, I think we're going to chill here a second while that recharges. Emptied out. Now we just need to charge up. We do need to start working on some kind of hydrogen collection system. That is going to need to be a thing. I'll have to design something. I don't want something right here, right next to the thing. I want something like over that way a little so that it isn't obstructing the hangar. I'll tell you what, while that charges up a little bit, let's, um, let's grab some of those steel plates. And let's start working on the floor uh, in our little hangar area. So I know that needs doing. Building the floor of the hangar bay. Lagging a lot for no reason. A reload may actually be worth it. Oh, now I'm moving. then I don't think a reload is all that necessary then. Uh, there's nothing like lagging on a Sunday night. Indeed. Very true.
Uh, we may need to pull this wall back a little bit. That's fine. We just need to get started for now. lagging I'm definitely going to have to do some trash removal and get rid of some of these um, get rid of some of these uh, what's it called okay I guess that's as far back as we can really bollocks the shit why? There we go. As far back as we can really take it right now, I have to put more work into digging it out. Yeah, everything feels very sluggish. I'm definitely gonna have to get use some admin tools and get rid of a couple of um, structures for sure. It's just too much for my computer to handle. Um. Mr. Coffee. And I am probably going to reload. Shit, I need interior plates. Oh, well, this is connected. What am I doing? That'll do. Build me my coffee man! Bob. Oh, it's welding up all the... There we go. There we go. All right. So now we have a Mr. Coffee. Wait, what does the Mr. Coffee do? Well, the Mr. Coffee, as you can see, my health is currently at 86%. If I go ahead and click on the Mr. Coffee, you'll see that it goes up. Same with my power. What the Mr. Coffee does is it's basically a respawn point and um, a med station. Um, so I could actually respawn from the Mr. Coffee like a um, like a watch maneuver and the best part is coffee so it's pretty great I just figured we we kind of needed one here on the on the ship or whatever I'm wondering if I should make any modifications to this thing I'm not really sure not sure what modifications I would do, but I don't know. I mean, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's let's actually do this. What if we gave it? If we give it a little bit of extra detail. Like that. Just a little bit of extra detail. I like that.
I'm quite digging that actually. Hmm. like that just to add a little bit more interest I like that just adds just a little hint of something extra well uh, I think we'll just stick with that for now oh that's nice in it indeed ow my hand is stuck on my hair again ow there we go Those batteries looking. Oh, yeah, they're they're just about charged. Cool. All right. Why must you do this? Right, and there we go. All right, there we go, we're getting going. And we're off on an adventure. Um, I may have forgotten my wallet. One moment. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot my wallet. Um... There we go. I've now got my cash on me. My space credits. Flying around at the speed of, like, really, really fast. Get in the hole! There we go. Let's let's switch those to off. That's definitely going to help significantly. At least until we get past this. That 
should be fine. As long as we steer kind of clear. Not quite high up enough. Stop lagging. All right, great. And there's a missile post there. Yeah, we need to we need to get higher up because there's so many fucking missile posts and bullshit. Oh, we're gonna lag out the world so bad. I've got to find that mod and remove it. I've looked for it, but I can't actually find it. So if you're wondering why it's still even in, because it's freezing up the game. You know what? No. Here's what we're gonna do. Because this is starting to get really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and reload, because this is starting to get super duper duper bad. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that mod, because that mod is pissing me off right now. Go ahead and land, though. And we're reloading. Because I can't have any more of those spawn because it's going to break my computer. Oi. It's just bad. It's real bad. Why is everybody in their mother live tonight? Holy crap. I guess it's Sunday night. It'd be like that sometimes. This is true. All right, let's see if we can find this mod. I think it'll run faster if we do a reload, but I think we've got to find this mod and get rid of it because it's just lagging out the world too much. The stuff that's there should stay, I think. There it is.
So for those of you wondering, we only have 94 mods now. That's still a lot. But for Space Engineers, that's not that bad. I love it whenever your eye eyelashes are like, you know, cause they're there to like protect your eyes, right? But I love it whenever they just like decide to commit treason and start like going right into your eyeball. That's just great. I love that so much, ow. It's like, do your job. Stop, stop getting in the way. Just do your job. <laughs> I have broken my glasses. That's pretty great. Okay, so it's just the... It's the little, it's the rubber part of it that keeps coming off. Of course, I can't see to actually get it back on there. There we go. Stay there. There we go. That's better. Oh, dude, my my back hurts so bad. My mattress is not great, and then I sit at the computer all day. It's really, it's really not ideal. Oh. 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 Old man noises. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, was about to say, how'd you manage to break your glasses? Um, like that. Because this piece does not want to stay onto this piece. Um, but basically, this this bit is just sharp metal, right? And it's it's not, ow. It's not, it's, no, that's not going to even, I'm not even going to be able to do it because it, it, it's too pokey. So this protects, this protects you from the pokey bit, but it doesn't want to stay onto the pokey bit. Luckily, it's only a problem whenever I take them off. <laughs> Oh well, it, uh, it, 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 apparently it'd be like that. I'm determining to not complain about the loading sequence being so long for this game. Because I remember the time when this game would take so long to load in vanilla that you could literally, and I'm not joking when I say this, go make a sandwich, eat the sandwich, and shit the sandwich back out before the game loaded. I've, this game has taken literally two hours for, to actually load in the past. It is so much better than it was before. So I'm determined to not complain. I'm not allowed to complain about it because I lived through the dark ages. I know what a bad load time is. It's two hours. Um, and this isn't near that bad. This is near two hours, not even a little bit. Well, just because the load time was worse before doesn't mean you can't complain now. Are you... This is interesting. Are you saying... Are you saying that I'm allowed to complain about it? Because that's something you've, you've never once... You've never once allowed me to do is complain about something. That's always been illegal. I distinctly remember the words, I will stab you, happening a lot.
There we go. It's still bad? No, it isn't. That's not bad at all for loading, for loading time. Like, modded Minecraft takes way longer, you know? Like, again, as I said, it, it used to take, like, it literally used to take four actual ever. Imagine sitting next to someone every day listening to them complain about literally everything every day. Um, I mean, you act like that stopped when you watch me stream. To be fair, yeah, I probably complained about, I know I complained about too much back then. That's absolutely true. You're not wrong. Uh, I can at least understand complaining about loading screens. See, the thing is, is that I lived through the Dark Ages, and so if anyone, if anybody here, if anybody watches the stream and hears me complaining about a loading screen, they're immediately going to respond with, back in my day, if any old player comes on the stream who plays Space Engineers, they're immediately going to say, back in my day, it took two hours to load the game vanilla. Um, so I'm not allowed to complain, because if somebody comes on the stream who played the game and is like, what do you, you got nothing to complain about. They'll think I'm a noob whenever, I've been playing this game for like 10 years. 10 years, well, I guess it hasn't been out 10 years. Like, how, I've been playing this game for friggin' ever. I think it's been out like nine years, so I think. I've been playing this for like six years, I think. I really don't even know. But, um. But yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not allowed to complain according to other players. Because they'll bring up the fact that it used to be way worse. You know, the whole back in my day, we had to walk up, walk to school uphill in the rain, uh, both ways. That whole thing. All right. Well, we're only uh, 27 kilometers out, so that's not too bad. Never liked when people said things like that. Why? To be completely honest with you, it's not exactly wrong. As long as on the walk to school there were two hills, technically, you're going uphill both ways. You're also going downhill both ways, but that fact can be overlooked. But technically, you are going uphill both ways. Hey, uh, what? Oh, that's why I was, I was trying, I was trying to figure out why am I flying so slow if I'm empty? I should be at least going like 80. And no. Uh, fair enough. Doesn't mean I have to like it. This is true. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions, whether they are wrong or not. And it is wrong to force people to believe that your opinion is correct. You can try and convince them, but if they say, no, I'll believe what I want, you let them believe what you want. some pretty epic canyons, to be honest. These would be fun to fly the jet down. That would be cool. You know, trench run. I like that.
22 clicks out. Freeze up. It's understandable. Something probably loading or unloading. It might actually be the station loading in. Not really sure. But this is much better because those freaking um, military installations were just everywhere. It was kind of a problem, to be honest. So, yeah, it's probably better. The big deal is just there's so many of them that it lags out the game. Uh, like, you know, and the other thing is, like, you can't drive two feet without running into one. And because of that, you're, you are gotta fly super duper high up in order to be able to dodge them, and that's a little bit boring. Then I can't fly in the canyons and everything. Otherwise I'll get shot the fuck down. Uh, there's a beacon! What's that? Three clicks out. It's probably a downed ship. It's kind of far away to scrap. But we'll check it out. And we'll place a marker in case... The idea being, that way we have a resource node on, on the GPS. Actually, let's yoink the uranium out of that. There's probably uranium in that. Let's yoink it. It should be neutral, so we should be okay to just pop in. But, uh, assuming that there's uranium in that, we may, uh... We may want to get our hands on that. If we can reach it. That may come in extremely handy. I see something there. It, it kind of almost looks like it's so buried on the ground. This is just poking out of the ground. What the shit? Check this out. Well, this is a small grid ship. What's in it? Ammunition, uranium, let's pull that out. Uh, looks like some Gatlin gun ammo. This is a small fighter. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But it looks like most of these uh, smaller thrusters are functional. Ow! They're very functional. That hurt. Um, well, I guess let's pull what we can out of it. Might as well. It's not a big resource node. And it's really far out here. We could just turn Bob on for a second. What do we think, chat? Should we just turn Bob on and get what we can, or should we just keep heading? Because this is probably not going to be something... It's not very big. I, I really don't have a good reason to come back to it. Bob it is. Hey, bank.
I mean, it is a small grid. Bob probably could handle most of the stuff on here. Try and grind down some of the more important components first. Most of it is um, kind of kind of sort of underground, so I don't know how much beyond what Bob is going to get that I can get on the top here. But I mean, it's a little bit of resources. There's that juicy reactor. There's a large reactor on here, too. Looks like that was already out of uranium. We got all the uranium out of it. It's fine. Resource node. Oh, yeah, a lot of these components aren't even filling up my full inventory. Something on fire underground there. Again, most of this thing is underground, so that's it's not super duper great. Grinded down the large reactor. Hell yeah. All right. Um, I think that's probably good. off we go at least we got the uranium out of it that's good we could use some uranium On the road again. That's a bit better.
All right, heading to the place. Those motors definitely should be mostly done by the time we get back, that's for sure. So we'll go ahead and do this, come back, and then, uh, then any motors that are left over, we will, um, or any motors that are done by the time we get back, we'll just throw all of those, and that'll probably be, um, probably be the rest of the stream. This should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Chill stream. It's a chill stream. Relaxing. Playing some games. Still 10 clicks out. Some canyons we're flying over. Looks like we'll be coming in in the dark, which is not super duper great. Oh, I can see the bubble. The safe zone. So we're getting close. We're in range of their beacon. All right. We're almost there. Back, all right, no problems now. We are really getting close now. bad at all <clears throat> I specifically built the helicopter in case this station in particular was like nestled in the mountains and impossible to get to by car or impossible to like land at on by a plane I wanted something with VTOL capabilities so I built a helicopter and um, ha, this would be easy to land on in a plane in a jet or in just a plane of any kind have arrived All we gotta do is get into the safe zone. 
And actually, we, we physically cannot take damage once we're in this safe zone. That's kind of a cool thing. Definitely looks like it should be bigger based on the size of the safe zone. You have entered safe zone. Yes, I have. Uh, there is actually a landing pad on here. So let's bring her around and see if we can try to land on the landing pad. That would be ideal. If we could land on the landing pad. Looks like we'll fit. Oh yeah, we'll fit perfectly. Can we, um... Are you recharging our batteries? No. All right. Let's go ahead and top off on, um... Well, never mind, because it's off, so. All right, let's check this place out. So we've got a nice safe zone. This would be extremely easy to take, like, a cargo plane of some kind in, so I don't know what the shit I was worried about. Lagging a little bit. All right, what have we got over here? This looks like a, another connector, another docking port. Uh, same with this over here. This is interesting. Got a bit of a tower there. All right. Let's see how the hospitality is, shall we? All right, this is not too shabby. Cool, actually. Actually, can we can we sleep in the bed? We can. That's actually pretty cool. There we go, and now it's daytime. Access denied. That's not super great. Oh. Some magazines for a gun in there. The lockers are locked. Let's go ahead and go down the ladder. Let's check the rest of this place out. This is very small. I've seen bigger ones. Cool looking though. It is, it is cool. But it is also just minuscule. Alright, let's see what they got for sale then. Let's 
So this is the vending machine. I wonder what the data pad would have on it. 86 credits. I don't think so. Let's see, this is a contracts block, uh, store block. I was kind of hoping for an ATM so that I could throw all my monies into one place. The ether, ether webs. But unfortunately that does not appear to be the case here. Very interesting. Okay. All right, uh, let's see if they've got any... What do they got at a store? Haven't really messed around too much with the economy update stuff, so we'll have to see. Okay, they've got Clang Cola, Cosmic Coffee Data Pad Hydrogen, Straight up hydrogen, med kit, oxygen, and a proficient hand drill. That's it? What can I sell them? Computers, construction components, detector components, steel tubes, motors, and steel plates. Interesting. Tell you what, I'm gonna buy a data pad. So you are looking for more jobs or trade? Sure, we can sort you out. Take a look at this place. It's a bit remote, but rumors goes that pilots find good opportunities. Uh, create a GPS marker. Ah, that's... No, that's, that's this one. What is this called? What is that? Interesting. Okay, where is this station? Well, that's, uh, oh, that's off world. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's that's definitely off world. Okay, that's pretty great. But we do have it in the records. So that's something. All right. Uh, are there any contracts? Per um, hmm. Again, I would love an ATM to throw my shit into. Acquisition contract. Silver, so these are just like, these are basically, I guess, okay, okay, okay. so it looks like act, or, uh, acquisition contracts are, um, we just have to come bring a certain amount of something. So if we just brought 440 sing silver ingots, uh, we could totally, um, grab this up. Same with these. Search contracts, um, I believe are a bit more difficult. You gotta find something in a certain area. You got a certain amount of time to do it. They're high reward, but low, high reward, but they have risk. Um, Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Sell. So. 
Let's let's grab everything. I'll tell you what. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take most of the components. What is it? The construction components, steel plates, tubes, computers. Our ship is off. Actually, we could probably take one of those bigger contracts, I think, for um, construction components. Yeah, because there's a lot of construction components. Um... If they have one for construction components, I would like it, please. Well, that's kind of lame. I thought they had one. We're buying motors. Were they buying interior plates? for any of those. Okay. All right, that's kind of sad. Um this is a lot of a lot of construction components that we have here. So what do we think, chat? Do we keep these construction components which would be useful for building our own stuff? It's a lot of construction components or do we sell it for Uh, 296,000 credits. Now, credits can buy us a lot, but they can't do much. They're kind of pointless, but they can, like, they can do some really, really good stuff. Like, if they were selling, like, platinum or something here, that would actually be pretty freaking amazing. Oh, and it looks like they're only going to buy 813 anyway. But it's still most of them. What do you think, chat? How easy is it to get back what you sold? Well, it depends. Depends on if I find more. Um... Uh, it's pretty much just iron and time. It's 1,224, though. I'm kind of thinking maybe keep them, because that's a lot. Like, some of the rest of this is just kind of junk, and I'm willing to part with it. But, like, this is a lot of construction components. And, again, I have 6,000 credits already. But, again, that would be 296,000 that I'd be getting. Which is a lot. Like, that's walk into the next place I go and buy whatever I want a lot. You know, like... It's not... It's not that bad of a, uh...
Hmm. I think I'm gonna not do that. I think we're gonna go ahead and... I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, head out, because I do see something I'm interested to find out what it is. But, to be honest, I don't think we need... I don't think we need the money, now that I'm thinking about it. But at least we've been here now. And we know what it's like. And if we wanted to come with a more beefy cargo plane, we could. Let's go find out what this is. It is TLF 28A. It's a neutral signal, which sounds to me a lot like it's a crashed ship. It's also far away. I hope, I just hope that it is a crashed ship that is, um,. Big! Because I'd love another big shipwreck to uh, tear apart. I'm out of water again. Alright, we're rolling. Well, we got some uranium out of it. And we did get a, a little bit of more credits, so that's fine. And we did find the location of another one. I don't necessarily know that it's on the way to anything, though. So I don't necessarily know that it would be worth going after, but it could be. It's possible that it could be worth going after if it's on the way to one of the other planets. heading back and while we're heading back I'd like to take this time to remind everybody watching on YouTube to be sure and like and subscribe and all that great stuff and come check us out live twitch.tv slash rogue leader gaming we do space engineers every Sunday 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 at 7 o'clock Houston time um, and if we're not doing that then we're doing something else with Hunter because he was available he actually he was available today but he was he was too tired he was like nah I'm good so I was like, all right, then I will carry on with business as usual. But, um... We also do Subnautica on Tuesdays and Undertale on uh, Fridays. We also do a Minecraft um, vanilla and a Minecraft modded survivals. Um, as well as just a little bit of Warzone. All here on twitch.tv slash Gaming. Generally, it'll be in the evenings. Although we've we've done a couple things in the uh, like afternoon, so. But that's a good reason for you guys to come drop a follow as well. It's free. You get the notifications, and uh, it just helps us out and supports us. I guess by us, I'm I'm also talking about Hunter as well. Um, but it just helps me out and uh, helps support the channel and everything. So be sure to do that as well. And we are still a ways out. You think you're going to head out for the night snow? All right, no problem. We'll see, uh, see you next time. Enjoy your evening.
All right. Um, I'm really kind of hopeful that this is. I don't know what this is. Oh. I don't know what this is, but um. We have um more pressing matters. Uh that's ha uh, that could be a problem. <laughs> the minute after snow let leaves, I'm 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 noticing something that may be a bit of a problem. Uh, we need purr. We need purr. Purr is required. We're, we're, we got, we got 12 minutes of power left. Uh, which is not ideal. I had not realized this thing was not super great at uh, long distance trips. That's not super great. I think my music's died. Um, come on. Oh, it's shitting itself. One moment. Holy shit. Nothing in my computer at all right now is responding. It's, it's really pretty awful. Every, everything is broken. There we go. We're good. Everything's fine, chat. It's all fine here. Okay, computer, I'm going to fall out of the Goram sky if you don't fucking start playing the- Oh my gosh. There's no way that it should be this bad. Is one of the batteries on recharge or something? Okay, one of the batteries is on recharge. Okay, we have 43 minutes of power. Okay, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Holy shit. Uh, that scared the piss out of me for a minute. I was like, hmm, I don't think we're going to make it home. What, what, do you, what would you like, phone? What would you like to inform me? You would like to inform me. Why? An inflatable cock. On the, um, on iFunny. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, why? I, actually, it's not interesting. Why? Just why? Okay, well, I'm, I'm very excited about the fact that we're no longer about to fall out of the fucking sky. Game sounds are kind of loud. It's fine. All right, we are four clicks out from whatever this is. It's not the thing we found earlier because I uh, I took the uh, beacon off of it. So this is something new. I think I'm even starting to see it. slow down here a little bit. Coming in. It does not look super big, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a bit of a disappointment here. Just like the last one. Yeah, this this is looking kind of disappointing.
Well, it's better than nothing. We'll probably get some more uranium out of it if I can hurry the fuck up and get to it before it dies. It's a disappointing small ship. This reminds me a lot of Henry from uh, Last In Gamers. One of Last In Gamers ships. and crack into it though. There we go. Well, uh, in that case, we absolutely will be taking this thing apart. 100%. Get in the fucking ship. There we go. gonna have a lot of goodies actually where are those guns it says that it has ah got 25 uranium not too bad Unfortunately, it looks like most of these ion thrusters have their um, thruster components removed already. So it doesn't give us much in the way of platinum. It does give us a lot of components, though. A lot of reactor components, that's for sure.
I actually got quite a lot of components here. Looks like that's all of the uh, useful components, more or less. There's those Gatling guns. Take that ammo. All right, that's more or less all of the uh, useful bits. finishes taking this apart, I will be right back because I gotta pee. We're back. And sadly, Bob has not done much. The time has come, however, to move on. I still plan on going back to the wrecked ship, which still needs a name. Put all the motors, th those motors definitely should be finished by now. Unless we ran out of parts, which is very much a possibility.
Ow. Hair. Stop. There's a little like frizzy thing just dangling. It's like annoying. All right. Now, if we can just avoid the uh, missile post, then we should be good to go. We can actually see our base just barely off in the distance from here. Should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay at this point. We're gonna get a little bit close to that, but we should be out of range. Unless the game decides to freeze up. Did that just spawn in? Was that there a minute ago? The cargo ship? Sitting on the fucking ground? Is it my imagination or is that brand fucking new? That's definitely not supposed to happen. Stop what? What am I stopping? What am I stopping? Hammer time. Ah, indeed. <laughs> Welcome to the stream hunter. How goes the uh, mine colonies? Huh, we're almost back. Absolutely terrible. You kept crashing. Well, that's no good. What was making you crash? Crashing is never good. Was it like too many people or like was there a dragon? Like what was making you crash? Because that's concerning. Or was it just that you you've been doing it all day? Was it just that you've been doing it all day and so you were it your computer just said fuck you to your face? That could be it, of course. Uh, let's see, so you just gave up and played COD. Nice. Mm. 
Nice indeed. We are returning to my base. It's just over my head right now. As you can see, right there. You don't know, man? Okay, that's, that's not great. Hopefully it does not continue to do that. There's the base. Coming back in. into the hangar for quick uh, resupply and oh geez yeah we're gonna probably need a um, refueling too because we only have uh, a little while of power left oh oh geez oh geez And recharge the batteries. And there we go. We are back at the base. Um, speaking of batteries, let's go before I do anything else. I just want to go see how the power situation is currently doing on the base. And we get to take my elevator. I'm actually quite proud of this elevator. This, this works quite well. Hmm. And up we go. Ha ha ha! Stop making those noises, elevator! <laughs> oh, it's so not good. It's so bad. Oh, geez. Oh, I remember back in the day whenever this would just explode. This would just not be possible. This would just completely destroy everything. Those were the days, the dark ages. The dark ages. Uh, welcome to the stream, Kevin. Uh, how have you been? We've been working on... Um, uh, an episode or two ago, we found a crashed ship... Uh, and we've been working on trying to get thrusters put on it to bring it back to the base because it's it's actually in pretty good condition. So I'm going to convert it into my um, spacefaring vessel that shall get me out of here. You've been good. Well, that is very good to hear. Welcome, welcome. We're riding my elevator, which works today. But it didn't used to. Alright, we have made it up. And I need to check the batteries. Um, hmm. Funnily enough, these are still okay. All right, and then these are these are set to recharge so that they don't have any uh, 
problems, but I'm amazed that these are still still okay. I believe we're running both assemblers and a refinery. Where are we at in production? Okay, we have... Oh, there they are. Okay, we've got, we've got plenty of motors. I'm doing that slow-mo walking thing again. I don't know why that's happening, but it's annoying. That's a bit better. All right. And let's, uh, okay. Is there anything else I need to do up here? I don't think that there was. I really just wanted to check the batteries and see how power situation was. Back down we go! Uh, What? There, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh geez. Oh, oh boy. Please, Clang, do not eat my elevator. You've already eaten so many elevators over the years. Okay, looks like we're okay now. Oh man, dude. <sighs> Oh, I have fucked up. I have fucked up. There we go. It's all fine. Oh, jeez. Ah. This is not a recommended place to stand. It's not OSHA approved. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, This thing is just rattling around and just... Oh, it's banging. It's clanging out now. Oh, no. It's, oh, jeez. At least it's, at least it's functional enough to exist. Could be worse. Imagine trying to do this in the Dark Ages. That just wouldn't have worked. Let's uh, empty the helicopter out and um, put new resources in it. All right, and we got 25 uranium, so that's that's good news from some of the downed ships. All right, now we need every motor that we have. Oh, uh, you're playing Destiny now. Oh, are you? Cool. Uh, what do you think of my helicopter, by the way? Uh, have you seen the helicopter? I don't remember if you've seen the helicopter. Uh, let's see. Is that all the motors? That's it? Oh, jeez. All right. I guess we'll deal with what we've been given. 
All right, those are still gonna be recharged in seven minutes though. Um, you mean you're turd with rotors? It's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. How would you improve? Okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna call it a turd with rotors, how would you imp improve upon the design? What does it need? If you think that y if you can judge my design like that, what does it need then? I mean, you're right, it doesn't look great. It's not ugly, just said it looks like a turd with rotors. I mean, I do, okay, you're not entirely wrong, but it's gray and not brown. So at least there's that, I guess. It's got that going for it. got an idea to kind of help. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. It does need a little bit more color variation. It, it is very bland, that's for sure. Um, so a little bit of black on the on the front there, I think, looks pretty good. Six more minutes. Well, while that's going on, let's... I'm going to move the jet... I'm gonna move the jet back into the um, hangar over here just so that we have a little more room. Because this part is really supposed to be a hallway more than anything else.
All right, now it's in its hangar where it will probably spend much more time than I uh, had originally hoped. Um, hmm. Good news is that we're also making more rotors while this is going on. I'm trying to just think of something. There are so many GPS marks. I really don't need all of these. Turn those off, I guess. That's considerably better. Well, I want him to charge up. I think it'll be fine, but I want him to charge up a little bit more. Because I'll need the thing running while we're sitting there. Um... Hmm. Alright, but we kind of need to go ahead and... At some point, I think we just need to go ahead and go, so... Let's hit the road. Or I guess in this case, the sky. And off we go. The flying turd. Uh, let's see. It doesn't look that bad. It definitely needs some more color variation and stuff like that. It's it's very bland. I will give you guys that. That's, that's honestly not very charged. That's about what it was saying whenever I landed. 30-ish minutes of power. That's not um, what I would call a good sign. Uh, I will say that we really need to be higher up than we are for going directly over some of these uh, missile posts and shit that will just yeet us in one fell swoop. 
Let's get a little higher up. There we go. There's our lake. And oh, so many red signals. Oh geez, we are we are really really close to this thing. Holy shit, we're close to this thing. Oh geez, we're close to this thing. Uh um Okay. Okay, I think that's the closest I've been. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal. We really need to be higher up. better. All right. Well, we are heading. So my plan for this ship is I want to, we're going to need to put some, we've got some temporary atmospheric thrusters on here, but we're going to need to give it the capability of landing in atmosphere because it's got to get back into space somehow. So we need hydrogen thrusters. Now, how we're going to do that is, this is why we needed the lake. Uh, so that we could have easy access to ice to make hydrogen. So, uh, lucky we have a lake. Granted, it's sitting on a lake currently, but it's going to need a lot of work to get it functional. So we're going to take the rust bucket or whatever I'm going to decide to name it and simply bring it home and uh, then it'll be at home uh, we can simply work on it super duper easy we can very easily load up anything we need to take from the base it'll be pretty great it'll be pretty great But, um, we are going to need to have hydrogen capabilities on board. We're going to need... It's, it's going to be a mobile base as well. So it needs to have everything necessary for survival. So it's going to need assemblers, refineries, um, med bay, all that great stuff. Hydrogen oxygen generator. And lucky, it actually has all of that stuff and it's completely intact. Um, not only does it have all of the necessary survival components, they are also all functional, um, which is pretty great. And anything that isn't functional is very near functional. Oh, I, I don't like how close we're getting to the gun post. That gun post has killed me way too many times. Okay, we're alive. We've lived through it. Holy shit. But... That there is indeed the plan. Um, so that's one of the biggest reasons, actually, why I've decided to convert this ship and, ship and use it instead of simply taking it apart and using it for salvage is because everything on there works. Everything on there is still functional. Except for the uh, uh, ion thrusters. So it had originally four nacelles, but there's only two left. So I'm going to take apart the original nacelles and scrap them. Um,
What the shit is Explorer? Hold on. Hold on, we're gonna go- we're gonna go take a look at what Explorer is real quick first. Is that another- I really hope that's not another fucking massive... ship right here. Although if it is, uh, then it's gonna be in our best interest to not move this ship so that we can use it as a, um, a scrapping facility. But I kind of feel like this is probably going to be on the smaller side of things because that's what I've been seeing lately. Who knows? We're about to find out, I guess. Go ahead and slow down a bit here. Yeah, we're coming up pretty close to it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a fucking massive unit? Or is it going to be... Taint. Fucking shit. That, um does appear to be... Unless that's an island! Is that an island or is that a ship? Is that an island? No, that's a ship. That's... That is a ship. It's not in near as good a condition as the other one is, that's for sure. Alright, let's let's immediately go inspect this thing and see if we can find a reactor. What what is powering this thing? I need a terminal interface. Nuclear reactor. Gimme, gimme! Oh yeah! Look at this shit! We've got... A bunch of shit in the refinery. And I mean a bunch of shit! Holy shit! So, a, decent, a little bit of platinum. Some... What is this? Gold, magnesium, silver, iron. Actually a decent amount of some stuff. That's actually pretty great. And 299 uranium. That's the real good stuff. That's the real good shit right there. All right. Uh, we will have to scrap this thing. So let me... Fuck yeah, all right. That is pretty great. But let's snag that uranium and then let's just, let's just head to the other ship. Um, I'll have to do some, uh, scrapping off camera. We'll probably scrap that one and take all the scrap to the other ship and use it to repair the other ship and call it a day. Actually, you know, we, we want that to honestly stay. All right, let's go uh, head back to the other ship. Cause this one, this one doesn't look near as good as ours. And this one, uh, it is, it is a wide boy. And I don't like that. And it's also way, way worse condition. Ours is in pretty nice condition. This one is a wide boy and it's not in super great condition. It looks like it's mostly above the ground, but it's still not in that great a condition.
Well, let's get there and throw these motors on. Um, whatever we can do. Well, look at that. Two wrecks in one lake. That's pretty great, actually. So we will salvage that wreck with this wreck. Um, and I think that's going to be how we, uh, how we handle this situation. Because I'm already thinking we were going to use the nacelle, uh, the wreck that, um, the wreck that we salvaged before we actually move anything. I actually want to pull up those, um, those nacelles anyway. So we'll probably use the helicopter to, um, go back and forth between these two. Um... I might put a hydrogen engine somewhere on the helicopter so that we can recharge easier. But, um, I'll just take the helicopter back and forth between these two, um, shipwrecks, scrap that one and bring it over here, use it to fix this one up enough to get it flyable. This will be very possible. I'll definitely be doing some off-cam stuff. Next episode, I do want to move this. Or, next episode, I want to work on scrapping the other thing. I'm not really sure which. Go ahead and throw that in there, I guess. Because we never did take that out. That's not great, but... Right, let's get as many of these as we can online. Ah, come back here. And stop freezing like that. Fuck. Please. I could just turn Bob on, but... I really don't need Bob welding a bunch of stuff that- or trying to weld a bunch of stuff that he doesn't need. He seems to get stuck trying to weld stuff that he doesn't need to weld. A lot. You know? If- if he has components for one thing, but he doesn't have components for something else, and that something else is higher on the list, he seems to want to only do what's, um, you know, he gets- he gets stuck at it, which is- is really kind of just dumb. And I hate it, and it's annoying. Ow. We got 8,000 motors, so... We should be able to get most of this finished... Yeah, most of these thrusters finished up. Um, but again, we still can't actually move anything until... Like, I'm not moving anything tonight. And I'm not even probably going to test anything tonight. We will probably do that in the next... Uh, in the next stream. Actually, the next one will probably be scrapping the other ship on the lake and moving this one. That will probably be what it ends up being. Which means we're gonna need some cargo containers on this ship. There is one, but I think we're gonna need to do a little bit more work on that. They don't need to be piped, they just need to be installed. Alright, we need another run. 
That's the only problem I'm having right now is you can only carry so much and these take so much. It's what I like Bob about, but again, there's so many components that I don't want Bob to actually mess with right now that I need to go in and paint um, the ignore color so the Bob doesn't do anything with them. Because I like them, they're nice, like, structural elements and just cool stuff. And I quite like it. So many motors. I really, I do want to see though, if we can get on stream, everything put, you know, all of these thrusters done that we've laid out. There is one more that needs to be built. I will say that there is one more that does have to be built. that has yet to be placed down. And that's because it will phase into the ground if I, if I go ahead and place it down. So, um, we got one more to do, but It should be flyable with the number of thrusters that it has, as long as they'll keep up the weight. And we'll just have to be super duper duper careful. Like, it'll be like a please don't, please don't die kind of a careful. Motors, I need a lot more. Holy shit, dude. I think we might actually have enough motors to get all these built. Maybe. It's unlikely, but it is possible. Like, there are so fucking many... So many, but looks like we may actually have enough. Um, we do still have more getting made back at home. Because I think, isn't this the last main thruster? And then it's just the side thrusters. And each one of those only takes like 200 something. So, yeah, we may actually, we may actually manage this to get all these thrusters done on stream, which would be great. Cease your actions. There we go. That would be great, because then, um, then all I'd have to do, I, I wouldn't have to do all that much in between episodes if that's the case. I don't like doing a bunch in between episodes. I think, is that all the big thrusters? We've got six for up thrust, one for the front for right now, because we've got to cut the solar panels off. Two in the back. Yeah, we just have the small ones now. Which don't, they only take 110. So I think we'll be able to actually pull this off.
Wow. I'm actually extremely amazed by this. I thought it'd be at least another two trips. That's pretty crazy. another round of motors and that should be it oh man I'm actually extremely uh, amazed by this we did it we got all the motors we needed. Holy cow! That's all the thrusters, in theory, that we need in order to actually get this thing airborne enough to fly home. We're probably not going to do that, we're probably going to leave it right here until we get these two nacelles cleaned up and then whatever that is over there cleaned up. But holy cow, dude. It's not expecting that. Well, um, all right then. I'm going to go ahead and leave us there. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing off, uh, off cam in between. I'll probably work on the base a little bit more. Um, but I'll probably leave a lot of the rest of this. I probably won't do too much because what we'll do next, next stream is we will test fly this. Um, and then we'll scrap the other ship. Actually, no, we'll scrap the other ship and bring it over to this one. And then we'll test fly this, and we should have all the components necessary on board from scrapping the other ship to build any more um, things that we need. If we don't, we can just make a run back um, to the base. And then from there, we'll go ahead and bring the ship home, and then we'll begin fixing it up. So, uh, but that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, so I hope everybody did enjoy. Uh, if you did, Hit that like, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that like button down below. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, and of course, come check us out live, twitch.tv slash rogueleadergaming. We do um, Space Engineers Sunday, Sunday, Sunday uh, at 7 o'clock Houston time. Um, we also do Subnautica on Tuesdays and um, Undertale on Fridays. I also have a Valheim series and a modded Minecraft and a vanilla Minecraft with my friend Hunter with a little bit of Call of Duty Warzone, um, some other stuff like that, um, kind of more randomly uh, whenever he's available. So, but I'm always streaming on Sunday, Tuesday and uh, Friday evenings. So be sure to come check us out. Um, and I think that should be it. The next stream, as far as I'm aware, will be Tuesday's Subnautica, but um, I don't know yet. I haven't actually heard from Hunter what his schedule is and when the next stream is going to be. So right now, it'll be Tuesday, Subnautica, 7 o'clock Houston time. Be sure to come check it out. And uh, I think that's going to be uh, it for everybody here. So uh, we will uh, go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.